can one spirit uh, be attached to more than one person? Um, they will go from person to person to person, often influencing whole groups of people. And, and it's not just one spirit here. These are, these are like a whole groups of spirits who are in this state. Yeah, so if, just say, um, there's a negative spirit attached to me, mm -hmm. hooking into my stuff that I'm denying. Yep. Can that, not, uh, can that one spirit not affect another person at the same time? Or? No, they can. Yeah, oh, okay. they can. But obviously, if they're attached to you, that's very different than their attempts to influence you generally. So you gen <laughs> direct attachments are due to emotion, emotional addictions inside of ourselves. What I'm talking about here is not a group of spirits who are directly attached to you, but rather a group of spirits who you would call the rulers of this world. They are the, enti they are the rulers currently of this entire system of things that we're living in. Right? Okay, I didn't realise there was a difference between um, a spirit being attached and then a spirit just influencing. Yep, a spirit being attached to you is very much about your own addictions and their addictions being met. So the only reason why a spirit would be personally attached to you is because you have an addiction of some kind, whether that, whatever that addiction may be. Let's say, give an example, the addiction might be that um, you have an addiction where you always do what the man wants you to do, no matter what the circumstance. And what will happen is uh, different types of spirits will connect to you permanently in that regard. Some of them who are women in the spirit world who believe they also have to do everything that a man wants to do in every circumstance and they permanently attach to you. That's not these group of spirits that I'm talking to. Those group of spirits are directly affected by your soul condition and the instant you raise your soul condition and release the emotion, the attachment breaks and so they have to leave. There's no alternative for them to leave you. This other group of spirits are a group of spirits who are going to try to influence you no matter what your condition is. They are going to try to attack you no matter what your condition. And in fact, the brighter your condition, the stronger they are going to try to attack you. Right? Because they want to bring you down to their condition or lower. Okay, thank you. Any other question? Um... I'm finding that the more that I'm processing and releasing, the more I don't want to like put myself in situations like going out to clubs and pubs and all that sort of stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. And like I can feel when I'm in a dark space, I can actually feel them just coming in, right in. To and try to influence you to go totally, somewhere. Totally. Yep. Totally. And we'll talk about all of this. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There are spirits who, who's, like I'm saying, there's, they are not connected to you permanently because you've dealt with different emotions and worked your way through different things. But they themselves are in a hellish condition and they want the earth. Their goal is to have the earth in as hellish condition as what they are. Basically, if you could think of, you know, if you could think of uh, a world, a seedy underworld, if you like, where there's basically public sex, public drugs, everyone's just doing their own thing, murders, rapes and all those things going on constantly. These spirits would like that happening to the entire planet. They would like there to be just anarchy on the entire planet. That's their desire. So that gives you an idea of how dark they are. And they, their whole goal is to bring every single person on this planet to that condition. That's their entire goal. Peter, would you like to... AJ, um, taking that example where um, the intent of the negative spirits is to uh, keep humanity um, in darkness and uh, uh, attached to all of their addictions, yep. but that would immediately then bring the law of God onto uh, humanity too to teach, to bring lessons to that part of humanity of in, a, in a severe uh, way, like Sodom and Gomorrah or something like that. Of course. Yeah, and so that would... There'd be an automatic correctional system going on, yes. which we can talk about in a, which we'll talk about in a minute. But what I'm trying to do is just describe to everyone what's really going on from yes. a spiritual perspective first, so that we have an understanding of it, yes. and then we can start seeing what other things are kicking in to correct it, yes. to actually bring correction to this system, if you like. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And one of the things that is most powerful bringing correction to the system is you, actually. 
And this is why you become the focus of the attack of these spirits because any person who's in a state who, who wants to improve themselves immediately has the power to not only improve themselves but to help others improve as well. So obviously these people then become under more attack from these spirits or automatically. If we have them.